Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the charts for Cardano, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out today okay guys let's waste no more time let's jump right down into this this is cardano paired up with usdt on the hourly chart binance is the data source and uh, we have been tracking this five wave move down and it has become an overextended five uh, or fifth wave here now for the most part we were expecting uh, anywhere really between 55.9 uh, down to about 54.2 and uh, we actually did bounce reasonably well from here and we rode it back up again ever so slightly but then we've pulled down in a really significant way i think we're getting close to actually finishing this one off though um, as we kind of ushering down into this 2.618 area of 50 cents now essentially i think we've got a little bit of a push upwards then one last little push down and then i think we are there ready for a bit of a move upwards okay um, now the whole entire pattern of this thing is uh, essentially a three uh, three five structure so once this finishes we should start to see some kind of move upwards what's yet to be seen is whether or not uh, this move up here has anything to do with uh, you know, a continuation surge up towards 74 cent. Uh, it's possible. At the moment, I have this class as just an ABC stretch right up here. Um, and if this is the case, and this is actually a finishing move, uh, we could be looking at some kind of small relief bounce before pulling down even lower uh, towards our 30 cent target, which is our macro low point for this particular phase. So we are, um, yeah, we've, we've kind of got a little bit of kind of optimism here just to see whether or not we're going to get a significant bounce and uh and, and kind of come out of any open trades at that point before we pull on down into those lower ranges um it does look like bitcoin's going to have two significant bounces upwards um on its journey to the downside i think believe it has already started its descent uh towards its kind of low area of twenty three thousand dollars. so um essentially there's going to be a couple of relief bounces and i think uh, cardano will be able to take advantage of one of those um, and i do think that is going to be happening rather soon so just kind of keep a close eye on these ones and um, for the most part you know our one-to-one -one ratio was at 52 cent we've just come down ever so slightly deeper um 49 cent wouldn't be too much of a miss either i think there's an opportunity somewhere in there as well and um, so someone can keep a bit of a close eye on that now let's go ahead and try to take a look at these wave counts okay this is our fourth wave just up here and um, this actually um came up as high as 61 cent there and um, but failed to actually invalidate this as a five wave count now if i actually just go ahead and remove this off here and just remove that fib as well we want to pay attention to this particular note because i think what we've got here is actually uh, a series of extensions so you've got one two three coming down here there'll be some kind of relief bounce and then that kind of push down ever so slightly lower okay uh, that's the kind of thing that i'm thinking here is going on with this overextended fifth wave and um, so essentially what you ended up with is a wave one two three down here wave four here and then all of this is a wave five with five waves inside it okay and um, normally it's the third wave that is the uh, overextended one and um, but in this case it's now actually wave five uh, which is obviously taking us down a little bit lower than expected but for the most part that's exactly kind of what we're looking at here then there should be some kind of relief bounce so then um, you know maybe we'll continue uh, with that downward directional move and the other way of looking at this as well is that maybe this is a third wave we've got to have a fourth wave um so what we end up with is something that maybe looks a little bit like this right we have one two uh, we pull back down and just get rid of those for a second um so wave three is down here we have some kind of relief uh, for a fourth wave bounce and then we pull down significantly into the fifth wave low okay and again that is something that would take us towards our kind of low end targets and stuff like that so i think that's also a scenario that could play out here and it could be a really deep uh, move on here that also then turns this into a one two three 
okay coming down four and then five taking us even deeper okay so i think there's lots of different ways you can kind of look at this one um so for the most part the directional move is down okay and there is a bounce that should kind of come in and should take us up a little bit um, and that's the one where if we have any open trades that we kind of want to get out of them um, ahead of the next kind of big surge to the downside but do remember i'm not a financial advisor i cannot offer you financial advice all i can do is give you my thoughts and opinions on the data in the charts as i see it um so make sure you do your own research and all of that good stuff now as i bring the stochastic rsi up here you can see that we are i'm um, just coming out of this oversold area on the hourly the four hourly is already oversold the eight hourly is oversold the daily is heading down to the oversold area so as we complete that little fifth wave down i would anticipate that our daily should be in the oversold area ready for this kind of fourth wave bounce upwards and then a final fifth wave coming down lower okay and um you know our targets are all the way down here towards 30 cents so um to kind of come all the way down there we might have to look at this uh, as a really big uh, five wave structure and we this is a bit speculation because we don't we aren't there yet but it could be that when two all of this becomes wave kind of three uh, then we have four and then we pull down into that kind of fifth wave low taking us to 30 cent um, and if that is the case that would actually complete the entirety of the entire move and uh, could basically bring us into uh, a good place for reversal um, and again this could happen relatively quickly uh, it really does depend on uh, what bitcoin's doing obviously they've been trading sideways for a little while now um, Bitcoin seems to have started its directional move down um, and if that goes quickly um, then we could actually start to see um, many of these altcoins reach their final lows um, much much faster than maybe anticipated and um, so yeah I'm going to leave the video there guys if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new um, to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto with all that said done out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one <laughs>